Furman is not here because he rather fucking fuck around, <clears throat> bullshit this shit, and go do whatever he gotta do. So. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. You guys see where we're at right now. We're actually at a Whole Foods right now. Anyways, let's go find some pumpkins. Let's see what they got. Let's go. Alright, so I did take chemistry 1 and 2 and physiology. I still don't know what that means, so I'm assuming this means pumpkin. That one looks good. Bet. Grab that one. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys, so we're about to buy the pumpkins. The next one's gonna be us actually in the apartment already like painting or carving them. So thank you guys for coming with me. Hope you enjoy the video. You know we coming to the H-Town to tell them. Woof. Alright guys, so as y'all saw in the last clip, Furman made up for his fucking sins. Last video, he didn't show up. Whatever the fuck he was doing is out the window completely because he went about pumpkins without telling me. So basically, we're recording right now. So anyways, right now, we are on the way to Walmart. Y'all saw the last clip. Right now, we're trying to go get the paint, get the shit going right now. But if you are new, you already know what to do, man. Click the subscribe button down below. Guys, if you're watching this video right now, bro, leave a like right now. If you want me to make it out the hood, leave a fucking like right now, bro. Y'all see the grind. Nah, that ass. Y'all see the fucking grind. I don't know if this shit going up tomorrow. That would be three days in a row where we upload, or if this shit going in a few days. But regardless of what that shit is, fuck it tomorrow. Tomorrow, fuck it. Regardless of what that shit is, man, y'all already know what to do, bro. So let's get into it. Oh, Furman is behind the camera right now. All right, guys, y'all see what's going on. I just came back from buying the pumpkins, and right now we're gonna go and buy the paint. Shout out to Hoodie, we're excited. We got a banger for you guys. All right, come with us now. Let's go get some paint. Come with us, guys. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, we made it to Walmart. Furman is behind the screen. We finna go get some fucking paint right now. Wait, do you even know what you wanna draw? Uh, nah, but I know we can look at like online things for references. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Movie. I was not expecting Furman to pull up on me with fucking pumpkins, so I didn't even have an. What if I just like Hello Kitty with it? Hey, you really could. I really you could. You actually huh? could. Like, I really could, huh? Should I just do that? Like Fuck Hall it. Halloween edition. On the spot right now, y'all just saw what I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint Hello Kitty. I don't know what Furman though is gonna be painting, but we don't want to be Kitty. viral. Yeah, fuck it. All right, guys, the goodie said we are here at Walmart, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling like very like Halloween themed, so I think we gotta decorate like the crib a little. We gotta decorate, you know, the spot a little. So, first thing we're gonna do is get two black pumpkins, and we'll see what else we get. Let's keep going. Come on. So, we're gonna get this orange pumpkin right here, and come over here, guys. I know it is spooky season, so we do gotta also get some spiders. So, these are black glitter spiders, as y'all can see right here. It's an eight pack, so. You can never go wrong with an eight pack of spiders. Or the Mantella. Wait, I think where it's is this Mantella? One. Oh, oh, no, those are bags. I think it's this one. So we gotta go on a hunt to find a Mantella. All right, we're gonna go see if we find like a spooky Mantella or something. Something to also like, you know, keep the paint away from like the, the top. So, marble, by the way. Let's go see what we find. We're looking for the paint right now. I'm having a fucking argument with Furman. Bro wants to buy this big ass shit. Supposedly the difference is like this one's acrylic, this one's not, but I just feel like this is too much paint. Like, we're not using all of this shit for sure. Like I said, I already know what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make Hello Kitty. So, I'm thinking about taking just this one and then buying extra white. That's what I'm thinking. So, I think I'm gonna take this shit and then I'm gonna take, obviously, I'm, we need an extra white. For sure. Fuck it, look, these are acrylic. These are like professional, gang. Oh, this is gloss and satin. What's the difference? Satin is more like matte. Okay, type I'm gonna beat. take the, the satin. I think satin is yeah, better. Yeah, I'm gonna take the satin. These? Yeah, right, so it's fine. It. Yeah, I think we got everything. We got the fucking brushes. We got the paint right here. We got everything pretty much. Uh, next clip, y'all gonna see us. We're gonna be painting the pumpkins already. If y'all made it to this point, draw this fucking emoji right here. Hey guys, so we're back at the crib. We're gonna be painting the pumpkins now. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna do Hello Kitty. He's gonna do the minion. And I think this is my first time painting pumpkins. Oh, actually second time, but the first time I did it was in like fourth grade. Oh, okay, so you did like in school? Yeah, so yeah. it's been a fat ass minute since I have painted a fucking pumpkin, so I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. But look, y'all peep the setup though, like, I ain't gonna lie, Furman went all out. At first I didn't have faith in what he was saying, but this shit actually looks fucking live, like, the pumpkins and shit, and like the spiders and shit like that. Like all this shit look live, but. Yo, hoodie, preach. Oh yeah, 100%. Y'all know we have to go all out. But before we start the video, I'm not gonna lie. Grab a little food, like light up a little sum, like come get lit with us, come join us. 100%. Be part of it, we appreciate each and every one of you. Once again, if you guys wanna join the hoodie fam, go ahead and subscribe down below. Right now. Like this, and as you can see, we're going up, so yeah. we're all going up together. Let's get it. This video is gonna be kinda long, so yeah, like Furman said, grab a joint or something, cause this is not gonna be the original 10 minute, 15 minute video. Oh no, yeah. We're gonna 100%. be painting our ass off. All right, so first and foremost, oh, we gotta put these bitches in water. Oh yeah, we do, we gotta do like a little like, bit they, they all stiff and shit. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we, we have all the colors right here. We're actually gonna be using those little like shot glasses right there that you see in the corner. It's actually for each color and actually like be able to get the paint a little more efficiently. So here are all the colors right here. I'm not gonna lie, this pack is pretty good. It has like literally like, every color. I just know I need red and white. Oh yeah. Oh, 
so what's going on? Nah, that shit look crazy. So you already gonna do the minion after all? Yeah, I'm gonna go into the minion game. What about you, buddy? Say that. Uh, I'm gonna do a Hello Kitty. I didn't really have an idea of what to do, but then like I just put this shirt on. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all saw it already. I put the shirt on. And I was like, fuck it. I like Hello Kitty. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably one of the only dudes that fuck with Hello Kitty. I got it from my sister though. One of my older sisters. She used to be in love with Hello Kitty. I mean, we grew up in the same crib, so like, <clears throat> and then she like just like, yeah, Hello Kitty is kind of hard after all. Bro, no cap. You know what's crazy? My sister grew up like literally like loving Hello Kitty as well. You know, like we were like twins. We're like we were like she was a couple years older than me, but bro, she had like her whole room was like fucking Hello Kitty themed. So you ever follow Hello Kitty like that? I mean, like it's cool, but you know that's for the girls. Nah, the I ain't even gonna lie, Chad. I want to buy a fucking Hello Kitty rug. Like, a Hello Kitty rug. Yeah, like a big ass Hello Kitty rug and put it right here in my living room. I mean, I might if it's like off fire Supreme, like the collab or something. All right, so right now we're putting all the colors in. I ain't gonna lie, bro. These colors look crazy. Yeah, they do. Like, look like chat. All right, guys, so it might be a little blurry, but this is what I mean by look at the paint. It actually looks, oh, it's a little blurry, but all right, chat, you, you get the memo. Look how crazy that looks. Yeah, they're looking well. Bug it though, we finna start. I'm gonna just paint the whole shit white. So, oh, we'll start with the big one first. Yeah, I'm, gonna just put, I'm gonna get the biggest one, cause I mean, I have a lot of ground to cover, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. This kind of stiff though. Put it in water. Oh, yeah. I was like, why well, I feel a little stiff? Like, I was like, damn. Oh! Oh, how I look it. So, I'm done. <laughs> it's looking fire, so it's Hey, but no cap, we are painting pumpkins. It is Halloween theme, of course, as you guys see. So we got a few questions that we just want to like, you know, discuss, talk about. So first and foremost, Eddie, obviously, talk it is that me. time of the year again. Talk so, to me, talk to me. So talk to me. What is one of your favorite Halloween movies? Like, what about scary movie? I don't know about Halloween movie. Yeah, like scary movie. Like, look, Chad, I'm not gonna lie. Back then, I used to hate scary movies. I'm gonna have to go with The Nun, bro. The one that we just watched. Bro. Because I watched the first one, and in the first one, that bitch literally made me walk out the fucking movie theater. Oh, you watched the first one as well? Yeah, I watched the first one at the movies, but I ended up walking out. I couldn't fucking watch it, but Ian Fremen actually went randomly as fuck. I just told him, like, yo, bro, you wanna go to the movies? Yeah, And did. That Nun, I think that's probably my favorite scary movie up to this date. I went to go see Saw, but it wasn't really all that, to be honest. It wasn't scary. It was more like a, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Isn't Saw more like, cause I think like scary movies are categorized in like thrillers, like suspense or like gore. I think Saw is one of those like gory movies, like low key. Bro, I remember like I was a kid, but I was in a, a Saw movie, and I was like, bro, I was scared. So I was like, bro, this is some scary shit. Like watching Saw was for so like insane. I liked the Saw though. How was it? I liked it. I'm not gonna lie, I liked it because I, like I said, like the the first beginning ones are like whenever I was like a jit jit, mm -hmm. they were scary. They were actually fucking scary, but these like they're not like the one that i saw wasn't that scary like it was more like gory shit motherfuckers were like ripping their arms off and shit like that yeah that's kind of wild because i know like the nun was kind of more like suspense nah. i think nah but the nun was kind of scary bro i really like the halloween movies with like michael myers i do too but i just feel like they're just too repetitive low key i'm talented all right next thing what do you think would be your favorite like monster or, like villain like horror monster you know chucky Chucky, huh? Chucky, cause that motherfucker's a savage. And I feel like that's the only like scary movies where like they cuss and shit. Chucky's out there like wilding the fuck out, bro's fucking. Like he's just doing a bunch of shit, bro. Nah, dead ass, bro. I think Chucky in one of the movies he fucked like an actual human. Bro, didn't Chucky have like a wife, like a family? Yeah, that motherfucker had a kid. Bro, bro nah, ain't no way. Yeah, that's what I like, crazy. Like it's crazy shit like that. Like, like yeah, I feel like Chucky has the most personality too. Chucky's low key like a human. Yeah. Cause like he's like less of a villain, more of a human. But yeah. like. Obviously, he's just scary and stuff. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Chucky has more personality than everybody else. Cause does Michael Myers even talk? Bro, does he? Nah, I think he just like nah. He probably just like grunts or something. Like yeah. Honestly, so he's just like oh, and he just like stabs you. Yeah, like Chucky's on actually on some fucking nut shit. Yeah, Chucky, Chucky is wild. I'm not like he'll lie. dead ass tell you I'm finna fucking kill you. Oh yeah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Growing up, Chucky. But I think he drink. He drinks. So Chucky's low key an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Like Chucky got one super truly and never went back. Chucky. Yeah. That Chucky for sure, for sure, no, without a doubt. What about you? That's fire. I'm not gonna lie, twin. I really like the Joker. The thing about the Joker, he's not in his villain arc. He stays in his villain arc. Yeah. I just, I just love like you know Batman, like The Dark Knight. Like I love those movies. I think the Joker's like cool. He's always awesome shit. The Joker's always like wild. So I think he'll be like my favorite, like you know, like character. Oh, hood, yeah. But good question for you gang have you ever played the ouija board Fuck no. for real hell no nah. i was 16 i was talking to this goth girl yeah my sophomore year i wasn't dating this girl it was more just like friends but like you know like it was low key like a little more than friends like the talking stage went a little farther than that it was like the talking stage okay but it was still kind of early like I hey, you know we already got paid on my hoodie gang Eesh. That's kind of crazy. And then again, like I want to say, I was probably texting her for like a month. Okay. If that, if that. <laughs> Anyways, this bitch was a goth girl, right? And I remember one time she basically told me she's like, hey, up north in Houston, where it's like, like the woods and shit, right? Oh yeah, North Houston. Yeah. Yeah. So I was texting her and she was like, we're about to play the Ouija board in the woods. 
That's actually kind of wild. Yeah, that shit was hey, Imagine getting that text, you're just like chilling. We're gonna play the Ouija board at the woods, like what the fuck? Yeah, and I remember telling her like, are you sure like that's safe? Cause there was this one episode from Sweet Life and Psych and Cody, where I think they played the Ouija board in a, in a Bennett hotel. No way, did they? In, in Sweet Life and Cody? I think. I'm not sure, okay. or, or I don't know, I don't know, I might be wrong. It's like a Halloween special shit. Okay. And I tell her like, are you sure that's something that you wanna do? Cause I mean, guys, I've, I've heard about the Ouija board since I was fucking young. One of my cousins played it and he told me like, that shit was just horrible. Like the days after, like he felt nauseous and he just felt like shit after playing it. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, and then he had to get like a cleanse and like go to church. So she sent me a picture and they literally have like a bunch of velas and like they're just sitting in a circle in the middle of the fucking woods. So she's playing the game or whatever, right? The next day she comes back to school and then she had like a chunk of her hair like ripped off, like right here. Bro, no way. Yeah, like a fat ass chunk just ripped off and I remember Remember, like, she I was looking like Britney Spears in. Yeah, and like I would meet her after like first period. So I remember I went up to her and I was like, what the fuck happened to your hair? And she then I said like she didn't know. She said that somebody just yanked her hair. Like a fat ass boss, but like Bro, bro that's like, they crazy. ripped that shit. They ripped that shit like clean. <clears throat> nah, again, that's kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, it's very much insane. So that happened after she played the Ouija board? Yeah. That's kinda crazy. I played the Ouija board like once when I was like 15 or 16. Yeah. I was like a yeah, I was like a freshman game. I bought that shit with one of my friends. We were like, fuck it, like let's just see like what happens. Game, you bought that shit at Barnes and Nobles. I was like, all right, like if Barnes and Noble sells a Ouija board, like ain't no way, like yeah, like, can't be real. like this ain't no way this all real. Anyways, long story short, that's what I be. We pussied out and we did in the plane. Like it was bought, but I was like, hold up, this shit don't even feel right. So like. That shit got thrown away instantly. So yeah, that's kind of crazy, actually. Like, Barnes & Noble just sells Ouija boards. Like, is that- Bro, that's really where I bought it. That's kind of, like, insane. You don't think so? Corporate bookstore. Yeah. Like, Barnes & Noble, who would've thought, you know? Yeah. But that's, like, a pretty crazy story. Luckily, I didn't play, so nothing happened, but that is a pretty crazy story. Chad, I'm gonna give you a little update of what I got, because I'm not gonna lie, I do have, like, a good amount. So, like I said, I am making Hello Kitty, so this is where I'm at right now. Damn, that's pretty fire. That's looking like Picasso work right there. Ty B, Ty B. So, all right, chat. Um, I mean, as you guys know, I'm doing Dominion. I don't have like OD a lot, but I got like a little like sun going on. Nothing crazy. Like, this is just like some slight, you know, something chill, nothing crazy. So, you got the eye though, anyway. Yeah, I got the eye. Like, the paint is kind of hard because like it hasn't really dried, so it kind of like overlaps your other colors. But I mean, you make it work for me. It's because you gotta do multiple layers, gang. What is the scariest thing that has happened to you while you were alone? This could be like literally anywhere, like literally like at your own apartment and like. At your mom, so I was like, "What has? What is the scary thing that has happened to you whenever you were like alone?" Nothing scary has happened to me while I'm alone, but there has been times where like I have encountered some shit like with other people. Not alone though. Thank God, not alone. Cause I don't know what the fuck I do. But I have a friend named Manny. So Manny's house was known to be like the chill spot, like the the place we were all go to and just vibe out. You know what I'm saying? Like after school or like whatever the fuck. After practice. Yeah, after everything. Like his mom would have all the snacks. He had the latest consoles. Like it was just the spot to be at. Yeah, that's fire. So anyways, Manny would always say that his house was haunted. And at first we never believed them. We we're like, yeah, whatever, 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 right? Then shit actually started happening. Cause we would just hang out after school. But then eventually we started spending the night there and like, having sleepovers and like we'd be at that bitch more than our own crib mm -hmm. so i remember one time well there, there's three situations that happened to me in manuel's house that i actually got fucking scared really three of them yeah dang tell me what happened so the first one was we came home after school it was just me and manuel but we were, we were gonna be in and out because we were gonna go uh i think we we're gonna go play soccer or something like that but he just had to stop to get his cleats let's say this is manuel's door right here right right across is the restroom let's say this is the restroom so it's like this, this is Manuel's door, this is the restroom. So we're in Manuel's room, I'm gonna go to the restroom real quick. So I open the door, but at the same time as I'm opening the door, like to go out, I, I'm opening it, right? The restroom door is literally moving the same speed as I'm opening the door. So like the restroom door, it was shut. So the restroom door starts opening and I'm, I'm like, going and i'm staring at the restroom door and it's going at the same speed as i'm opening the door no way bro. like literally the same speed damn i'm getting goosebumps like talking about it. i'm not gonna lie that's looking scary and it opened up and bro i just couldn't believe it i was like no fucking way no fucking way and i told manuel and i was, and he was like see see motherfucker my shit's haunted my shit's haunted yeah that was the first scary thing we kind of like forgot about it because like i just kind of told him like hurry up like let's get the fuck out of here and we kind of forgot about it we had another sleepover same crib at manuel's crib it was a bunch of us it was like six of us and we were just fucking around like saying scary shit and you know what I'm saying like regular shit we got sleepovers and yeah i don't know who the fuck had an idea to put a mirror on the floor and put uh what's that shit called the the one you put for the carne asada the fire shit like charcoal Nah, not charcoal, the other one. The spray. Like carbon? No, no, no. The, oh, lighter fluid. Yeah, lighter fluid, okay. Mm -hmm. So somebody, 
decided to put lighter fluid the mirrors on the floor like on the complete floor and then one of our friends was like trying to be funny and then he was like if there's any spirits here da 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 like and they fucking light the mirror right bro the whole shit i, I promise to god bro the fire went up like all the way up to the roof no way like bro. the fire went all the way up to the roof like at the very top of the roof yeah like you could see a face in the fire no way i bro. swear bro and we all ran we all ran out like we were like ah that's that kind of crazy. Nah, that, that shit was fucking scary. I'm not saying I never believed in ghosts and shit, but like, it was six of us and we all saw the same shit. We all ran out the crib and we were like, y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? It was a face. So you like, you knew you wasn't tripping like Loki. Yeah, because everybody said it because I didn't even bring it up. Yeah, we stayed outside for like an hour and then eventually we went back in. But that shit was fucking crazy. I think those are the only ones that like have really like... Uh, I think the only... All right, so I look at two stories. The first scary thing that ever happened to me while I was alone, it's actually kind of funny. It's not that scary. So I was actually home alone. It was like at night. I was sleeping, whatever. Bro, I literally started hearing footsteps in my attic. Like I'm sleeping and I was like, I'm facing up and out of nowhere. I hear like little like, they're kind of little footsteps. And I'm That's like, okay. Crib? Yeah, my house. And funny story, I don't live far from Manny. Yeah. So yeah. There, there goes that. Yeah, nah, but peep this. So I hear like like things in my attic, right? Like a little step. I'm like, whatever, right? Long story short, I keep hearing it and it progressively gets louder. And I'm like, bro, like, I'm looking starting to get creeped out. I'm home alone. I'm like, fuck. Bro, tell me why my parents get home. Like, this is like an hour later. I'm like, low key spooked the whole hour. Just like in my room, locked by myself. I'm like, okay, like, hopefully, like, my parents get here quick. Bro, me and my dad go up to the attic. Tell me why the hell there was raccoons and like babies right there. Wait, what? It was raccoons, gang. Okay? Oh, oh, I thought you were about to say some scary shit. Like, oh, no, yeah. This one wasn't scary. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, that was like, I was home alone and like, it seemed scary, but nothing like happened it was like literally right cool. the only scary moment i actually did have believe it or not was with kevin you were there too when when we recorded the video at walmart oh if you guys yeah. don't know what i'm talking about go check out kevin's channel he actually has the video uploaded we basically went to an abandoned walmart here in houston and bro i swear to god that was actually like the scariest thing even though i wasn't alone obviously i was with edwin and kevin it was the scariest thing ever happened there, right? oh yeah with ray as well yeah. shout out to ray we were there as well and bro we literally i mean it's kind of tape but like we literally witnessed some like paranormal shit yeah and i was like bro there's no way but i mean it was also the most haunted walmart there is i think in like the world right like the u.s at in least the US. yeah it was like, literally the most haunted walmart in the u.s so. the story yeah I mean, go I'm watch that video go yeah, watch yeah, that video go watch the video it's, it's on kevin's channel uh, i think the title is called like abandoned uh, exploring the abandoned walmart something yeah like that. Ooh. Some shit like that, but that video was actually kind of scary too because I was not expecting like shit like that to happen I didn't even remember that one gang. I should have said that one too And it's crazy because it was like it was with the gang So it was kind of memorable. It was really like with Edwin and Kevin and Ray as well So so if you could have like a spooky pet like a Halloween themed pet What would you choose an owl a bat or a wolf a if you wolf. had to choose like a spooky themed pet a wolf You would choose a wolf? 100%. Well, actually do I have to take care of it and shit or like it's like bothering me I mean, you. I mean, it's your pet game, so you gotta like take care of it, like you know, like like clean its shit and all that. Yeah, I mean, it's a wolf game. Hey, wolf game. Nah. Odd future wolf game. If you know, you know. They want to go with the owl. Then. Hey, OVO. Yeah. October's very own. I'm about to go with the owl, cause like if I have to take care of it, like I ain't trying to like. Cause if I let the wolf go outside, like that motherfucker probably gonna eat another dog. So like, yeah, I ain't trying to get like sued and shit, cause you know people be taking you to fucking court over their dogs and shit. Oh yeah, cause I feel like there's been a lot of like dog bites, like that kind of happens now. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna definitely go with the owl. Pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, I actually would go with the owl, cause I think they're like kind of cool. They're like mysterious. And, yeah, like, imagine I'm gonna go to owl. They're kind of like cats. No. You're just there vibing, watching TV, reading or something, and they just have a little owl over there just like vibing with you. I'm not like it. I have a scary story about owls. I Do remember. you really? Yeah. Let us know. Tell us about supposedly, the like, I mean, I don't know if you ever heard, like, the myth that supposedly, like, owls are, like, witches or, or some shit like that, or, like... Oh, isn't that, like, in, like, Mexican culture, Mexican yeah. tradition? Yeah. Like, or like, they're, like, brujas or whatever? Yeah, or, like, if somebody, like, that does, you know, like, brujeria? Yeah. Like, supposedly, like, owls will show up like mm. around you or some something like that mm -hmm. so whenever i was little in the house that my mom stays at right now two random owls showed up random two random owls and it was like around 8 p.m and they were like whistling bro like really like whistling like hard as fuck and i think we ignored it for like 20 minutes 30 minutes because like we weren't sure what it was yeah and then we went outside like every my dad went outside and my dad's the one that noticed it because he like he was like putting like the flashlight around and then my neighbor had like a fat ass antenna i don't know if you ever seen it oh those like big that big like yeah i don't talk about yeah i take um, on the, um, my left the neighbor on my yeah. left, he, has a, he had a big ass antenna mm -hmm. and there was two owls standing right there bro no way yeah and they kept whistling the myth goes that like if you answer to the whistle they'll fly down to you or like they'll fly 
and try to like get you or like they'll fly down and try to get into your house. That's what that's the uh, what the myth is. Uh huh. So then he calls us. My mom comes outside. I come outside, and my sisters come outside. And I think Alan was there too. Oh, Alan was there. I think so. Alan comes outside too. I think he was there actually. We all see it, and whenever we're all outside, like the whistles are getting harder and harder. No so way. My mom, she's like, okay, so this is obviously like intended for us, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. She goes inside, and then she starts praying, just saying that you're supposed to. I don't know. I don't know what exactly it is, but you're supposed to say it, and they'll like drop, like they'll like fall. Like the owl will just like drop, kind of yeah, like, yeah. like, like kill or like. Kinda, yeah. So. Or if it was like a negative spirit towards you, kind of? Yeah, so my mom tells me and my sisters, go in the living room and just start praying. So we go to the living room and we just start praying. And then I hear my mom talking, but she's saying like a whole verse. I don't know exactly what it's called, but if y'all know, y'all know, like, you're supposed to say something to like owls and like they'll instantly drop. Like that's what the myth is or whatever the fuck. That's pretty cool. She started saying it, right? And then all you heard was a loud ass, <laughs> like a loud ass thump, bro. And then I was like, what the fuck? So we go outside and then my mom tells me, she's like, one of the owls just dropped. Like one of the owls just literally fell, collapsed. And then she, so there's another one and my dad's pointing the flashlight right at it. And my mom's like uh, reciting the words again. Yeah. She's telling it like, she's reciting it. And, but this one didn't drop, this one flew away. No way, that's actually, yeah. that's actually scary game. Cause like, thank God your mom kind of like got those like bad vibes, like negative energy away. Yeah. Damn, what you've had a lot of paranormal shit happen to you. Yeah. Like yeah. low key, not think about it. Like yeah. you literally give us like five back to back stories of some crazy shit. My shit's still white. Oh yeah. I want a little update. Actually, I, I was twist right now, but I had to wait cause I actually painted the top. That's looking like the minion's hair or something. They have hair? I think the minions do have hair. I mean, you have hair, gang. No, yeah, but I'm not a fucking minion. Oh, I thought you were my fault. <laughs> my fault, gang. Bro, did you ever watch the Scream movies growing up? Like, the Scream movies? I don't think I did. They were actually kind of, like, lit. Bro, I think they're old. Yeah, I think Scream is one of the oldest ones. Bro, you know what I used to love? What I still love to this day? I don't know if Disney still does this or, like, another channel, but for all of Halloween, like, a marathon, like, every night with, like, a scary movie. Like, a classic scary movie. For real? Yeah. I think either Disney used to do that or there was another channel that would do that. So... I already fucked up. The one thing I kind of messed up on so far is now I'm doing multiple layers. So listen to Hoodie, do multiple layers on the pumpkin. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating and why? Who am I going trick or treating with? Like siblings, uh, man. The homies. Maybe like a little treats or something. You never know. Like, I'm not a fan of candy, to be honest. Probably a party. Fire, fire. To be honest, probably a party. Yeah. And it just started dripping. I thought it was going to look better. I thought like whenever I got to the needy greedy, it would look fire. I think, I think yours is pretty valid. Not going to count. Hey, what's this little paintbrush on though? Oh, I can see what this one on. Yeah. Priest. I don't know how I'm gonna do this fucking bow, bro. Why? Oh, like on top, like the bow? Yeah. Like right there? Yeah, I'm gonna do it right The bow might curve a little, the bow's gonna curve a little, but I think the bow's gonna be chilling right there. Painting pumpkins look therapeutic. Yeah, right? I feel, like, I feel like I'm very in the moment. Yeah, this is kind of gas, though. This shit is hard, bro. The bow is the hard part. Good thing the white already dried, so the red is kind of just like overlapping it. Unless I, I feel like I did. Just make it, good thing you can always make it bigger. All right, Hoodie, have you ever played Bloody Mary? No. Why do I feel like everyone has played that? I've seen people try it. Oh, why wow, look kind of fire though? Shit. That big ass bow. Nah, God damn. I fucked it up, chat. Chat, no cap. We are actually putting the final touches on the pumpkins now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of happy with how mine came out. It's a little drippy. Wait till you see the final presentation. Cody was right. I should have actually let it dry. But bro, you're not gonna believe this. What? This is actually the first time like in my life painting a pumpkin. Bro? Yeah, I've carved one before or tried to carve it with like my sister. Like with my family, my siblings, but I don't think I've ever actually like sat on and painted a pumpkin. Well, actually, I believe you though, because I've only done this shit twice. You it's more like couple shit. It's more common to carve a pumpkin right than paint one. It's a little more like common, like, you know, carving pumpkins. I feel like everyone carves pumpkins at least once. Bro, this was perfect. The amount of paint was perfect. I think everything was perfect. We literally had like every color we need. That Walmart run was okay goaded. I told you, motherfucker, you wanted to buy them fat ass paints. Gang, that's how you know I never painted. Like, I was literally trying to buy like a fucking like 24 pack of like colors because I never. I thought that it was gonna run out on just one pumpkin, but luckily it didn't. Thank God. Maybe if we was painting the whole pumpkin, yeah. All right, guys. So me and Hoodie are actually done with the pumpkins. And the count we're gonna do a little review. We want you guys to let us know down in the comments below. Who do you guys think did the best pumpkin? Be honest and go easy on us. What do you gotta say, Hoodie? Nah, yeah, I actually, I was excited about what I was doing until the bow. <laughs> until the bow came. Yeah. All right, so on count three, we're gonna actually like flip them and show you guys. You ready? Yeah. All right, hold up. Let me grab it from the back, because remember, the top is like painted. Let me grab it from the back. All right, gang. Are you ready? From the back, from the back, from the back, from the back. Two. Ah. All right, guys, so here's the final product of the pumpkins. As you can see, we have the nah. minion and we have Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, my shit look live, though. It actually kind of does. Hey, but I ain't gonna lie, like, my minion doing this little thing, like, yeah, 
Say what you want, but I'm making it a little drippy. I know, it's literally, it's, it's literally dripping, yeah, by the way. That's what I mean, it's literally dripping. dripping. So, all right, chat, let us know down in the comments below who you think did the best job. And once again, please go easy on us. We did not go to art school. But what do you guys think? Let us know down below. If you made it to this point of the video, once again, the pool 10K special is still alive. Mm -hmm. So DM us, bro. DM us if you want to be invited to that pool party. DM us. We still don't have a date. We got to get a date. But I'm not going to lie. We have to get a date soon because it's getting cold. Hey, twin. What's your body? Put a date on it. Yeah, we got to put a date on it. So like, if you live in Houston or in Texas or shit, if you willing to fly out to this motherfucker, let us know, bro. We're going to be throwing a high-rise pool party. In Houston, Texas. In Houston. DM Furman. DM me. I already had a few DMs. You're not being ignored. It's just I don't have a date. I need to get a date. Once we get a date, then I'm going to start responding. But... Keep flooding the DMs, and yeah, man, with that being said, I think we're going to leave it off right there. Thank you guys so much for the support that you guys have been showing lately. And yeah, subscribe, roll to 20K. Roll to 20K, let's go, baby. And we'll see y'all. We'll see y'all. Peace.